Come on, I'm going to say it like the old folk. You said, we trying to get all of our ducks in a row before we move. And then after we moved, the ducks was in a row, but nothing happened. See, it's better to move on God's timing with your ducks out of line than to think you know more than God. See, just like that scripture Paul just said, bringing every thought into captivity. See, that's some things we got to do. Lord, get this out of my mind. No, you cast it down. You arrest that thought. You deal with that thought according as I have taught you. See, that's right. we don't just come to church just to say we came. Let us not be that church who is taught well, but you use none of it. And there is a reason God is taking this much time to deal with negativity or negative thoughts. Why? Because he knows at some point all of us going to have to deal with this. But we need to know the proper way to deal with it so that you won't be happy and then all of a sudden you are depressed or you are made sad. Watch this. How many have ever been with somebody who was happy and upbeat and then all of a sudden they attitude changed? Listen, it changed to the point to where you ask the person, what's wrong? Or you just say, what's on your mind? And because they look so sad. And they got, you knew like something is going on. Woo! Am I bad company? No, it's not you. It's the company. And like it or not, thoughts can change emotions. Nothing has physically happened but a thought that you did not checkmate, that you did not arrest. Now the thought is messing with your emotions. You, because, whoo, you, you can set your mind on somebody who you angry with and you ain't 20 miles <laughs> near they 20 miles or more away. Not even in your presence. And you ready to fight. Or you done got real upset. Why? You, you thinking about somebody that you wouldn't mind punching. Come on. You in the presence of somebody that's treating you good that day. Paying for your food. No, I, I got it. But you spent the whole dinner Mad at something. Messed it up, bro. John. Spent the whole dinner mad at somebody. Watch this. Who not even there? You know, you know one thing I used to tell married couple? Don't take nobody to bed with you you ain't married to. <laughs> take neighbor thoughts. Oh. Negative thoughts. Negative. Live, Live in your mind. mind. Rent free. Until you evict them. Woo! Rent free in the sense that they're not paying to be there. But watch this. But it's going to cost you for them being there. Who, gonna, who you going to let live in your house rent free and they tearing up your house? Who you going to let live in your rental property and they're tearing it up? And you not going to go through the necessary steps to evict them. I remember I had this one house I was renting to this girl trying to be good to her. She didn't have a full month's uh, down payment and all this. And I told Donna, I said, we're going to work with her. And when I said it, Donna didn't like it. See, you need to let me handle the part. Oh, don't let that work with them. She was in there three months and ain't paid no rent. I said, you got to pay rent. Yeah, you know, I told my mama that I need to try to give y'all at least something. I said, oh, my God. <laughs> I 
told Don, said, you need to deal with that. She said, no, I, I told you. You told me. You said. And was tearing up the house. Listen to me. Legally speaking. This is a legal document. I just want y'all to know this binding. That's what they call it a testament. That's what they call it a old testament. A new testament. Because this right here has a testator. You know this couldn't be enforced until the testator died. When Jesus died, we can enforce his will. This is legal. This is binding. Hold on, let me get back to my story. Let me, let me get back to my story. Yeah, see, see, if somebody got you in their wheel, I don't care if they show it to you, what all you going to get and what all you going to have, you can't go to the courthouse and demand that they lose the car. First thing they're going to say, when did they pass? You said, well, they still living, but I want what's on the paper. You can't get it till they die. When they die, it becomes binding. When Jesus died... Be seated. But this is what I'm saying. I had to go through the legal steps because she wouldn't just move. And, and I said to myself, okay, I, I know you. Now, I realize I know your kind. I said, I ain't finna sit up here and argue with you, but there's a legal way. I told Don, I said, I'm gonna send them papers. I said, she one of them kind, ain't going to read it, ain't going to pay no attention to it, don't think it's a joke. I, when I went through the process, they wrote me an official letter. Say, you now have the legal rights to evict them. You can call the sheriff out there, he'll meet you out there. When I told the girl, I said, look, you need to be gone in a certain amount of time now. Well, I'll do, I said, look, it's over. I said, you didn't even read, I, I said, I don't say, I went through the process. See, it's sad when negative thoughts are living in your mind rent free and you won't go through the legal process to evict it. You have been given power to tell that thought. You're going to live in somebody's mind, but you will not live in my mind. There's a neighbor you sitting by who may let it live in their mind, but make up in your mind. Psalm 19. We in the clothes. Psalm 19. And see, this is what we have to be taught. You don't have to be sad. You going to have to evict some thoughts to be happy. Woo, even in your old age. You ain't got to sit up getting old and mean. Getting old and bitter. Getting old and slow. Getting old and gray. How about getting old and happy? How about getting old and satisfied? How about getting old and travel? How about getting old and buy yourself things you wanted as a little girl? How about getting old and buying some boy toys? Not boy in that sense, but I should have said fun. Yeah, that's a better word, fun. See, that's one thing I'm going to do. I'm over 50. I done cross what they call the hill. <laughs> and one thing I'm determined to do as I get older is enjoy life. If I hadn't seen it and God want me to see it, we ain't too old to see it. I'm seeing that now. God is dealing with me about stuff like that. Older people upset about getting older. Oh, it's preaching, sis. So. It's preaching. Psalm 19. What's wrong with him? I don't know. He might be mad because he's old. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just shooting it to you straight. But that ain't going to beat me. It's too much out here. It's, I said it's too much out here. But that's thoughts. That's thoughts. 
And, and, and I learned no matter how negative a thought is, sister, I learned to see God in it. Look at you. You 52. Yeah, but there's a lot of folks I know that ain't even see 52. But, but this always a killer right here. I ain't seen too many people 52 and look this good. <laughs> Woo! God. I know there are days I can pass for 38. <laughs> and I, I don't need y'all to co-sign. I don't need your confirmation. There are days I feel 36. That's when my dressing changes some, but it never gets sinful. But, but, but that's when I'm in one of them, you know. I went and bought me a little crossbody bag. I, man, I, it took me a minute to get used to the thing hanging on me. I like, man, I need to. That. Those are thoughts. We are laughing, but those are, those are thoughts. You can sit up and get old and dry up. Everything in life, your thing is, uh, let the young people have it. Let them do it. No, you ought to be leading the way. Come on. I'm trying to move on, but I know this is it. Some of you over 60, do you know what God telling you? that your, Even your roller coaster days may not be over. Could you imagine 65 and you standing in the roller coaster line? With a cane. <laughs> Little children just standing behind you laughing and you, and you sitting up there. <laughs> I'm next. <laughs> and you get up there, they mad. Say, Grandma, you sure your heart can handle this? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> you, guess, you might even get a pass through the lines. See that, and see you upset about that cane, but see that cane can get you to the front of the line. Hey, wait a minute, she can't wait. Come, come on up here. Every line you go through. And see, when they learn that's happening, guess what the grandkids gonna say when they go to the park? Hey, can we take grandmama? <laughs> see, see, they know with grandmama, they don't stand in the line. They, they recognize when grandma with her, we, we, we went to the front of the line. And see, Grandma, they're going to pay for your ticket. They're going to pay for your hotel. I got to move. I got to move, y'all. Psalm 19. Now, I'm not marking getting old because I'm, I'm getting older myself. So don't, don't take that person. Psalm 1914. Woo. Mm, mm, mm. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable. In your sight, O oh Lord, my strength and my redeemer. Look what David wanted. David wanted the words of his mouth. What determines the words of your mouth? The meditation of your heart. He wanted the words of his mouth to be acceptable. To God. He wanted the words of his mouth to be pleasing to God. He wanted the meditation of his heart, his mind, to be acceptable to God. Lord, I want you to be pleased with what I'm saying. I'm going through, but I want you to be pleased with what I'm uttering. Lord, I want you to look at me and be pleased with the things that I'm choosing to meditate on. That's how I want it to be. In Philippians 4, I'm only going to deal with one thing that he says. A great list, but I'm only going to deal with one. Paul says, finally, brethren, Whatever thing 
things are true. He basically said meditate on these things. The antithesis of truth or truth is what is false and what equates a lie. Tell your neighbor, you can't afford, you can't afford to, meditate to meditate on lies. On lies. Right. Come on, you need to tell that to another neighbor. Tell neighbor, yeah. you can't afford, you can't afford to, meditate to meditate on what's false. Come on. But in order for me not to meditate on lies, I have to have a discernment for truth. If you don't have a discernment for truth, demons will trick you and have you focusing on lies. See, some of you, God done had you go look at something. He done had you to go look at something. For some of you, he done had you to go drive something. Now thoughts are coming telling you you can't afford that. Don't meditate on that because that is a lie. Oh, I'm going to come at you. You like the way it drove. You like the way it's seating there. Only thing you've been meditating on is a payment. You keep thinking you can't pay. But God done already brought you to that place. Where you not only can take care of that, but you can. I'm talking right to somebody. And the only thing you meditate on is what's false. That's what you meditate on, what's false. Somebody shout, that has to change today. You didn't shout like you mean, tell them that has to change today. Oh, I'm talking about refuge of Luna. That has to change today. No more meditating on lies. No more meditating on what is false. Come on. You got to discern truth. 